Um, I'm Michelle Terenzi. I was employed as a human resources business partner and that basically focuses on a lot of industrial psychology and coaching. We used to go to spa for everything, every birthday, Valentine's Day, any special occasion that was happening, my mom and dad would take me to spa. So I have many memories of spa growing up. Nothing. My father forced me to study something when I wanted to take gap year, um, but I actually wanted to be an actress, so yeah. Knowing that I'm about to impact, influence and change people's worlds, so that, that's the first thing that I think about when I think about my job. That is what makes me get up in the morning. Integrity is very important to me. Um, respecting others is very important to me. I value when other people are able to be honest and truthful about who they are and what they do because it's important that people are always doing the right thing. Yesterday. Strawberry. Oh, both. You can't give me an option there. <laughs> Bags and shoes. Learning programs haven't been really something that SPUR has um, incorporated within the entire organization. So um, that would be one of the ways that we would introduce um, learning and development at a more intense level. We, in my opinion, I don't think that um, we just want to be seen as an organization that makes good food, but we also want to be reputable in the market in terms of becoming a learning organization where people would want to work for SPUR because of how much they'd be developed as people. Being a leader at such a young age and being a woman in leadership is complicated because it means that most of the people that I have to lead um, are either older than me or have been in the business longer than me. So they would generally know more than me. Um, that rapport then needs to be built with with people and that trust relationship needs to be built where people can trust what you're saying despite your age and despite the fact that you are a woman. Well, if you were to look at performance management as a process, continuous assessment would form part of that. It would definitely be one of those tools that we use to constantly see how um, our employees are faring, whether in their current job or whether they want to move into a different um, type of career. I believe in both. I do believe that leaders are born, but if you are not a naturally born leader, it is a skill that can be developed, but then you need to want to lead people. The lead pastor of our church, she's got a very big influence on my life. She's a strong woman and she's always filled with lots of wisdom. So if ever I run into any pickle, then I can go to her and like she's my, like my go-to person. Very hard work. Well, I currently look after restaurants, so my favorite part of my day at a restaurant is to have whatever's on the menu. <laughs> so